Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make these super cute stockings using the Cricut Easy Press as well as the new Mini Cricut Easy Press. I'm going to show you how to make these super cute stockings. I'm also using some of the already designed out printable iron on that Cricut already has. So we're going to show you that and I'm going to show you how to create these super cute designs to create your own personalized stockings for this Christmas. So let's go ahead and get started. So these stockings here, I picked up at Walmart for like 98 cents. You could probably pick them up somewhere a little bit cheaper. Um, you could grab them at the Dollar Tree. You could get them at Target. There's just tons and tons of places that you could get these very affordable. So got these at Walmart, 98 cents. And then I cut out the material and then we put this on. Easy presses that I'm gonna be using today is going to be the mini and the six by seven. So you could use either or. So I just figure I'll kind of show you being able to use those to purchase personalize. All right, so let's go and just jump right in. I've already pre-cut the materials that I need between the pattern paper, everyday iron-on, and glitter. That way it's going to be super fast. The name is already cut out because I cut all these out at the same time, um, so I could just get all the stockings done at once. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm be using my blue mat here today. I use it between the blue and the green, so use whichever one, and I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this part. Okay, so I've got everything cut out and weeded out. You guys can see me layer my little penguin right over here. I like to layer so then that way I can flip it over and take it off this way in the back and know which layer is going to go first each time. And then I'll kind of have it like this so I can figure out exactly where I want it to be placed. So, you know, somewhere right in here. Say so I want it somewhere right about in there. And then I could get that first layer down. All right. We are going to use our 14 by 14 mat. That's one of my favorites right now. So I'm going to utilize this one here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start with my bottom. So I've got it set for 280 for 30 seconds. That's what Cricut recommends over on the heat press guide. I'll have that linked down below. 280 for 30 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and do it in small layers, about five seconds each. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and peel our first layer here. And I'm just gonna keep going. This right here is mustard yellow. I absolutely love it. That's one of my favorite colors right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that down. If you feel like you wanna secure this at all, you're afraid of it shifting, you could always use some of the heat resistant tape. I'm gonna go ahead and go again for another five seconds. You can either let that cool down or take something that's cold. You could use the bottom of a baking dish. I think that's kind of cool. Just make sure it's clean when you're doing this so you don't get anything nasty. A cold glass. Anything that's really cold that's not wet, obviously. Um, and you can cool it down a little bit faster. If you try to peel this too hot, you're going to start peeling that up with you. Super cute. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up here a little bit. How cute is that? Super cute. So you could always go through and change everybody in the house, whether it's mom, sister, brother. You could always change the colors of the outfit and do the same character and just switch it up. Cricut has a 
ton of Christmas pattern iron on right now, as well as glitters and stuff like that. You could really switch these up and make them your own. Okay, so for the top, what I want to do is for the rest of these glitter pieces, I want to show you using the mini easy press so you guys can kind of see how that would work. So for the felt, it's just recommending that you put it on number one. So all you have to do is click it one time and that's low. So we're going to go ahead and let that warm up. Once it's ready, it'll beep and turn green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that guy to apply all of this. So all I have to do is kind of line this up here. What I did was I just tried to keep them all six inches long. So I know some's going to be taller, but I wanted to keep them six inches wide. So, uh, so you'll see that difference in the font. Everything looks good to me. So here we go. It's already ready to go. It's green. So let's go ahead and start with the name. So all you have to do is move it around for 30 seconds. So you just need to kind of know your timing. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to another snowflake. All right, so what I'm going to do is stop and go ahead and peel a few of these up so you can see how easy that just comes right off. See how awesome that little mini iron is? It's super fast. All right, so let's go ahead and get these ones here. So you're just kind of moving these around just back and forth. I've had somebody ask me whether, you know, you could just kind of leave it like this. I've actually found it works kind of both ways. Um, with, with the felt, I do prefer kind of moving it around, no pressure, just heating it up. And it won't leave that little mark of the iron there. Now I noticed, I think that's just mostly moisture. So it kind of went away. Um, whenever I was doing that early as well. So it's just kind of preference of whatever you want to do. All right, set that down. So we're gonna go ahead and peel these up. And I'm gonna bring this up so you guys can see. So you can see how fast that guy heats up and it's ready to go. So super easy. There it is. So here it is. Here's our super cute penguin. And this is that really thin felt, so it really holds up really, really well um, through the Cricut Easy Press. It doesn't burn it at all, so I'm going to scoot this out of our way. All right, so there you go. See how cute that is? Using your Cricut Maker or your Cricut Easy Press too, you could really make some fun personalized stockings this Christmas. How cute! And you can change them so they're boys and girls, change their design, patterns, um, glitter, whatever you want to do. I could have changed the snowflakes and the font. Okay, so... Let me go ahead and show you one more stocking. For this one, I haven't put this down yet, I just have it sitting there. For this one, we're gonna be using the iron-on designs. So they have some already pre-made designs for you and they are super, super cheap. Between two to five dollars. You can usually catch them on sale for around there. They're very, very affordable. You can find them in Michaels, Cricut.com. Um, these ones right here are, are partnered with Rob and Bob. I think all of them are. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you a couple of their designs. This is the one we're gonna use today. We have a poodle and her name is Chloe. So I'm gonna cut apart. Don't think of having to use the whole design at one time. You could separate them and cut them apart. So definitely check that out. So there's Happy Holidays. There is Meowy Christmas. How cute is this? I was trying to get that to come down. There's Meowy Christmas. So if you've got a cat, Santa's favorite. So you can have that on the stocking. So I could have taken done this and then put Santa's favorite on here. That would have been cute. Or even one of these trees next to the penguin. We could have took these apart and placed these down next to the penguin would be really cute as well. So you could cut all of these individually. And then you have Merry Christmas. I'll have all of these linked down below. So you could cut, you could also cut these apart. You could, this is big enough to where they could fit right on the stocking and it would be super cute. And there's also ones that are like this. So you could cut these apart and have these on the stocking as well. 
So you can create little mini ones. You can do ornaments with these, which we are going to check out in just a second. All right, so let's go ahead and use the Happy Holidays, and I may use some of the trees. So we're going to scoot these out of our way, and we're going to put this one right back on top. So before we cut that out, let's go ahead and get Chloe down. All right, so we're going to use our same little mini Cricut Easy Press. So I'm going to get that down. And it's going to be on that low for 30 seconds. You're just going to consistently move it around. All right, looks good. So while that's cooling down for just a second, let's go ahead and open these up. So they come in sheets just like this. So it looks clear and it looks like the same material as the pattern iron on. So we'll go ahead and take that one out. I'm going to be using the super cute poodle, like I said. So I can go ahead and cut these out and then figure out my exact placement. Super cute poodle. And I think I want it over in the corner, maybe in the center. I don't know just yet. Okay, so we're using that one for sure. And then I'm thinking about a couple of the trees here. So let's see. And I may do like Santa's favorite would be really cute as well. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to do that happy holidays. Let me see. So I'm going to go ahead and try to see if I can't fit this on top of the whites. So let's try that really quick. So I'm thinking I might be able to, let me pull this off. I think I might be able to fit the Happy Holidays right here. And I can always cut it apart and do like Happy Holidays just like this. So think outside the box. And now I'm gonna get on my glitter a little bit. This is not something I'm washing, so I'm not concerned about it. All right, so let's go ahead and check our settings for the iron-on designs. So I'm just at the heat heat guide for Cricut using my phone. I have it set to the Cricut Easy Press Mini, and I'm going to choose the designs, iron-on designs, and it's felt. Done. Okay, same thing. Low for 30 seconds, and it's a cold peel. Now both of those are a cold peel. All right, we're gonna go ahead and peel this up here. All right, there we go. How cute is that? Looking cute. Okay, so let's figure out where we're gonna do our poodle. Trim away some of this excess. All right, let's figure out what we're gonna do with our poodle here. So I think I wanna use some of the trees. And I'm gonna do, let's see. Let me go ahead and pick out a couple of the trees. Alright. Cute. Then I have some leftover snowflakes from earlier, so I think I may add in a couple of snowflakes in here with the glitter. All right. And then there's a few of them in here. Like this little cute pink one. So I'm just going to go by each one. It's going to be the same thing. I'm just going to go over it for 30 seconds. All of the glitter are warm pills, so I'm going to go ahead and peel all of those. Alright, so we'll go back and peel all of these. Remember, they are all a cold peel. And I'll bring it up so you guys can kind of see. Alright, so this is using the iron-on designs. Here we go. Cute. So it's just like using pattern iron-on, but it's printed in these designs, if that makes sense. They're really, really cute. But we have a poodle and she's super cute, just like this one. So now she can have her own stocking this year. All right, how cute is this? 
If I decided I want to go back in and add any more pieces, I could. I could have added in several dogs if I wanted to. So I could go back and add like this little dog. So we actually have a few more dogs. Um, we have two other German Shepherds. So I could have actually did all three dogs on one. You know, I could have done all their, their names kind of mixed around with three different little dogs. Would have been cute. Um, I could have just did all the dogs on it and made it super adorable. Dogs and cats. So cute, but happy holidays, Chloe. I love it. How adorable is this? I hope you guys personalize your own stockings this year. Make sure if you guys do, share a picture over on my Facebook group, Crystal Ann. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.